Graham, was that the complete performance from the boys today to get that result? Um, as close to it as possible. I think um, you know, we were incredibly hard to break down today. I thought we we pressed them in great areas and I thought we suffocated them for, for a lot of the game. Um, but then we created numerous chances today to, to score, which we were delighted we took two of them. Um, Craig Gordon's made um, a couple of unbelievable saves. Um, so, yeah, delighted with the performance because I think it had everything that we, we worked for. And, um, you know, you get your rewards by winning 2 0 against a, an excellent team who have had a, a great start. Just how decisive was that work ethic and intensity across the whole team? Well, that was underpinned everything else. You, if it doesn't matter about ability and, and thought process, if you don't work hard and put the opponent under pressure, then it's a waste of time. And, um, you know, I think we've worked exceptionally hard, uh, the players, it, on the training pitch since the, the last home game here, um, to become that team that we've seen in the last two games. Um, we have to understand that the work will never diminish or go backwards. We have to keep our foot to the floor and work as, as hard as we have done in the last three weeks to to um, show what a good team we are, because we are a good team. We, we are a good squad. I think we, we had to make three or four uh, changes today and it didn't weaken the team one bit. Um, every player has bought into uh, doing what they have to do for the team. Um, you didn't see any player going off on a tangent, doing his own thing. It was all together and uh, it was a, a brilliant performance in front of a, a brilliant atmosphere today. It could that potential being disruptive? You know, it's four enforced changes, and yet the boys came in and just slotted in perfectly. Well, we, yeah, it, it could be. It could be if the if the players are not intelligent enough and um, not um, willing to to listen in training and, and see what we're working on. You know, because we work with the whole squad. It's not just the starting eleven. Um, because we know we're going to miss players from time to time, and, and players have got to be uh, available and ready. And, and prepared to go out and play like that and um, it was brilliant to see from those players but also the players that maintain it from, from the Aberdeen game and um, the competition for places is good, um, they understand that the team is picked on merit and um, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of good, good players that have played well in the last two games leading up into the, the next one so um, delighted for them because they, they have worked exceptionally hard, it could have been easy after the Aberdeen game with the international break just to take it easy but we didn't. Um, we, you know, we worked hard, and uh, but it's for that, it's for that, and we have to understand that. Really good scenes at the end as well with the fans. Does it feel like this is a team that just has such a good connection with that group of supporters? Yeah, I, I do, but it has to be worked out and earned. You know, I think, um, you know, I'll be honest, they, they, I thought they were quite good even after the, the Rangers game. Um, with the players, perhaps not with me, but I'll take that, and that's not a problem. Um, because uh, you know, I, I I did a lot of things wrong that day. Um, so, um, but I think their backing for the players is always there. I think that's really important, and um, you know, it's great to see because I, I, to keep that intensity going for for 90 minutes is difficult. Um, but I think when the crowd are behind you like that all the way, I think it spurs you on, and, and I think they worked in in tandem today to to get a great result for our club. Well done, Graham. Thank you. Thank you.